Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. Time for another guide looking at popular modelling products. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. Here's a new kit that's landed on our desk. It's from Revel, 135th scale, 66 parts. And it's the German staff car type 82E. But you'll of course recognise it as the Beetle, or the militarised Beetle that uh, appeared during World War II. Skill level 4, you can find it in the catalogue under reference 03247. Revel doesn't have that many military vehicles in their current catalogue, so it's good to see a new release. Initially we thought this was a completely new moulding, but actually we've discovered it's the CMK kit that came out years ago, and we made one maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago. It's a good kit. The detail is basically sound. The appeal of this is it's going to be quick to build. Revel models, when they release them themselves, are usually very good quality. And the best way to review it is to get inside and have a look at the sprues. Here we go, these are the components. As well as their new star boxes, you tend to get now these colour photocopy instruction sheets. So you've got 15 stages, should go together pretty quickly. There's the glass work. The pieces look pretty well moulded. There are very few of them. There's the body which looks precisely moulded. That will take a bit of removing, so you need to sand all this area. But generally detail's good, good level of detail there. The glass looks a bit thick. That's what reminded us of the CMK model we built. Seat cover's not too bad, the inside you're not going to see anyway. However, the big drawback for us are these wheels. The tread is just really basic, and if you build this you're probably going to want to invest a bit of money or time in somehow improving the, the wheels. You get two choices of hub, which is good. And the bumpers, as you can see, are fine. Door handles, perfectly respectable. A bit of sanding, you can make those more detailed. Windscreen wipers there again. This is all just simple, designed for a quick build really. But these wheels, what can you do when you're confronted with a set of wheels like that? Well firstly you could go to aftermarket and buy resin aftermarket wheels. But what we did in the past with CMK is we used two part moulding to mould some better quality wheels. It's really just a case of finding a model with better detail in the wheels. These Tamiya Volkswagen kits, so this is the Schwimmwagen, have pretty good wheel detail. So what we did was take these sorts of wheels from a Tamiya kit, and as we didn't want to sacrifice them from the model itself, we moulded copies using two-part moulding techniques. If you want to use the stock wheels then fair enough, they're lacking in detail, they're very simplistic. You can see there. But otherwise you'll probably look to upgrade them as we did. When it comes to camouflage and paint schemes, this is a late war vehicle really, so you've got no end of possibilities in terms of markings and so on. Either way, looking at the latest catalogue from Revel, they don't seem to have a lot of um, military vehicles anymore. You can still get all their kits obviously on eBay, auction sites and so on. We haven't seen the CMK kit around for ages, so whilst Revel is infamous really for reboxing other manufacturers kits and whilst it is disappointing that this isn't a completely new molding especially as this is really a sort of German national car what is good is that we've built this kit before and we know it is a good starting point for a Beetle. A simple kit it's available from all good model stores. Don't forget to add scale war machines to your favorites and stay tuned for more how-to guides. That's all for now bye. Subscribe for our latest videos